a robust, user-friendly system of systems that is established by scaling up a coordinated concept from national to regional to global applications is the key to achieving geo-objectives and enabling informed decisions. This requires international coordination of space-based observations through the Committee on Earth Observation Satellites and in situ networks. The foundation of GEO's infrastructure and data sharing projects start at the national level and can be observed in China, where Earth observation systems and applications monitor the Asia-Pacific region and share this data and information with the world. China is working hard at the regional level to promote the realization of GEOS goals by providing satellite data, establishing ground stations in Singapore and South Africa, as well as developing a national Earth observation data sharing platform. GeoNetCast is a global satellite-based data dissemination system that operationally distributes space-based, airborne and in-situ data and products to diverse communities. Thanks to global projects like GeoNetCast that builds on systems operated by UMETSAT, China and the US, users in developing countries have free access to satellite data for situations that may involve water management, drought monitoring, disaster assessment and climate prediction. The GEOS Common Infrastructure uses standards-based interoperability mechanisms to allow access and sharing of data, information and knowledge assets with other information systems such as UNEP Live and the WMO WIS, linking the Earth observation domain and the political domain for decision making. In particular, GCI enables UNEP Live to support informed decisions. For example, the recently signed Mercury Treaty seeks to limit emissions of this toxic metal. In the Arctic, it becomes concentrated and a threat to humans and wildlife. UNEP Live, making full use of the GCI, enables policymakers to discover the evidence they need to verify the treaty's impact. Some of the newest projects take advantage of emerging IT, offering solutions in areas like mobile sensing, citizen-acquired data, and cloud computing. The Mobile Science Project is connecting a wide range of sensors and instruments to mobile phones, enabling them to gather data at local and regional levels. This empowers agencies to gather their own data for all of the GEOS societal benefit areas. In addition, the mobile phones can transfer data to cloud computing systems for analysis to create actionable information and distribute it to decision makers as well as the public. The EU co-funded FP7 project CitySense in the Citizens Observatories program harnesses mobile phone usage by the general public inside as well as outside of buildings enabling them to work as environmental sensors, sending data to the cloud and accessing it as well, providing a platform for citizens to decide and give feedback about societal health issues like air quality, UV radiation and weather is truly empowering. AutoGig offers a system for automated, standardized, objective and repeatable information extraction from landscape photographs when issues such as biodiversity, global land cover, global forest observation and impact assessment of human activities are of concern. The coupling of landscape information on the ground with satellite imagery products may validate and support decisions. From the early days of UNEP's founding, member states attributed to it the mandate to keep the global environment under review. The Global Earth Observation System or Systems Partnership is a unique opportunity in which we both contribute and will derive great benefits from, particularly in our ability to provide governments with up-to-date information, but also to advise and support the transition towards a green economy. GEOS has made great strides during the first eight years of infrastructure and data sharing development, with interoperability and open access as an ongoing imperative. The systems that are in place are examples of what can be accomplished and a strong reminder of the new solutions and improvements our modern world demands more than ever.